Hello, everyone, and welcome to a conversation about bull magic. My name is Christine Laria, and I'm with my friend, colleague, and dear sister, who is also a keeper of the bowls um, today to have a conversation with you, a crystalline conversation about alchemy singing bowls and the magic that they light up in our lives. So glad to be here with you. Welcome to my friend, Lana. Lana Hi. Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I thank you so much. It's it's really fun. I I've been dreaming this for a while. The the idea of sharing stories around the bowls. There's so many wonderful people out there, and yourself included. That that you know are, are teaching and and offering um, a lot of details. But I I really the one area that that I I noticed that I would like to share more of my, for myself. It's about the aspect of, of the bowls that allow us to dream bigger, to expand our awareness and journey and just, you know, and how those kind of connections made and the, the magical synchronicities that flow when the bowls come into your life. So I'm, I'm really excited to share some stories with you. Thanks. Yeah, it's so true, isn't it? Well, and we, as we got talking about having this conversation, we realized that we both began our journey with the bowls with the same bowl. And for me, it started, I was at a consciousness life coaching program. It was an in-person in event down in LA. And one of the people there um, was a Crystal Tones distributors. They now call us partners of which I'm one. And she had this table of 30 something bowls and everybody was gaga about the bowls. And I was kind of slow, honestly, I didn't really get it at first. I was like, yeah, they're nice, that's fine. <laughs> and then the very last day of the thing, this bull starts talking to me and says, actually, I'm going home with you. And I was like, what? And it's like, yeah, I'm going home with you. And it was a, it's this one. It's the, it was your first bowl as well. And it's a 12 inch gorgeous um, aqua aura gold with a pink aura gold rim. And it's an E and it just said, yeah, I'm going home with you. And at the time I was like, you know, I don't actually have, you're not in my budget. <laughs> you're just actually not in my budget. <laughs> so. I go, but but it would not leave me alone because they do talk a lot and and so I asked the woman who I was supporting at the time like as a support staff I said hey can I can I put a, a sign up sheet in the back of the of the room and offer a, um, a workshop on teaching people how to use their voices to move energy and heal and she goes sure you know that was very generous because it was her event and it was a room full of people. Well, enough people signed up for that event and then also the one-on-one -on -one session that I made optional to go with it, that the bull paid for itself through that first workshop. So literally, like I just went on faith and said, here you go, you're going home with me. Um, and then she paid for herself or he, it feels kind of like a he to me. And I worked with that bull for a year. I love that bull so much. I did a beautiful project on target transformational toning. It was like an experiment. People would send me, um, their issue, whether it was their body or their minds or their finances, and I would make them a track usually with that bowl and then just say, hey, listen for two weeks and let me know what happens. And that's how I learned about the power of what that sound was doing. Then <laughs> in come you and sometime later, and we're both on in an online gathering together and I'm playing the bowl. And the thing yeah. was, yeah, she had, he had said to me, oh, and this is like, again, after a year or so, and it was like, I'm going to be leaving you soon. And I was like, what? What? What do you mean you're going to be leaving me? And within days. <laughs> yeah, well, and this is the funny part because so I, I'll just tell people briefly without going into great, great depth that I am a seer and I was born with what I call a continuity of consciousness, meaning that my connection to the multiverse, the multidimensional aspects of our beingness was retained by me i was very conscious cognitive of of my incarnation and my connection to other realms non-physical realities those sorts of things so my work has always been focused through those mediums through the you know can making helping people make greater connections and expanding their own awareness and connection so in the midst of this and I am living in the Pacific Northwest and I had become acquainted with Christina and, and, and loved her, but I really at this that time did not know her very well. Um, she invited me to, to um, listen to a, a sound bath that she was giving that was also being recorded. And I was thrilled because I, I couldn't attend in person. I was working right up until just a few minutes before. And, 
And, uh, but I, I, some, something in me had lit up. And again, I had no mental thoughts about what it was or what was going to happen. I had no preconceived ideas. I just felt excited, like, yes, I want to attend this. So I made a point of, regardless of how busy I was that day to make sure that I could do, you know, be there for that event. Well, I, um, I, you know, I turned on my computer and, um, that there was this, you know, table and that she had set up with the bowls. Well, blue or blue ocean and um, was was featured prominently on the table. I, I don't know if you still have that recording. Maybe at some point we could share with people. But in, in any event, I went into immediately. I started seeing an auric field of vibration and light around the bowls on the table and around Christine. And but my attention was fixated on blue the bowl that she showed you and i went into an altered state where the stage disappeared christine disappeared and i honestly i don't remember anything about her playing other than the very beginning when she started to to go and i was i was on a journey with this with this bowl the consciousness of the bowl was speaking to me and it took me on a journey through bali who where i've in this lifetime, I have not even physically been to Bali. So I'll just let you know that Indonesia is something I've journeyed on the inner, but I don't, I don't have a physical experience connection with it the way Christine does, but I went to Bali and I was visited by the whales, um, several extraterrestrials. The whales were showing me frequency sounds that were flowing through the bowl all on the big ocean. So what I call the Lemurian sea, the sea of light and energy and information that that is part of the new earth awakening, if you will, the ascension experience or, or understanding that people are coming to in themselves. All of this was flowing with the bowl and me with the bowl. And so I was having this incredible experience and it was both a body visceral thing and it was a visual. So I was, I was journeying and, and meeting these different beings that were connected to the energies of this bowl. And the bull told me that it was coming to live with me, this sacred object. And I, I had tears in my eyes and I, I felt, I felt the truth of it, you know, very clearly. And at that time I, I did not have any bulls. I had no thoughts about being a keeper of the bulls. I had worked with many magical objects because I've been blessed to work with people all around the world. So I've seen drums and rattles and crystals to just name a few um, but at the same time, I'm thinking there's this woman that I don't know very well, even though I feel, you know, a, a soul spark with her and this ma beautiful magical object is saying it wants to come be with me. And I felt that was a little cheeky and I was, I was really shy. And so when, you know, as her concert came to a close, the vision, you know, this began to, the it, I saw this mist and it came in and and things started to filter in and my my ordinary reality started to come back and I logged off and we didn't speak. I think it was for a couple of weeks and I can't remember if you called me or I called you, but but somehow we ended up talking on the phone and you were like, so this is the part that I remember that. So that whole time the vision stayed with me and the feeling of longing because this bull was calling to me, but I, I did not want to tell you because I did not know how you would take it. You know, if I said this, you know, this thing wants to come be with me and you're like oh really well really? <laughs> I didn't know so so I was really shy and we like I said I didn't know you that well at the time and and so we, when we talked yeah I remember this was the funny part you were you were like well what did you think and and I I think I said something you know fairly neutral like oh it was really nice I really enjoyed it and you're like and <laughs> I was even remember and so I said well I I I, a lot of I got a lot of downloads. I had some visions about it, and you were like, "And <laughs> that was the thing. It was the second hand that made me go that started laughing." And I remember telling you everything that had come through at that point because I just let go. I was like, "Okay, I'll just share." And that's when you shared with me. Now it makes perfect sense, you know that that this bowl had told me had told you that it was leaving, and the shock of that and at the time like the well i won't say shock but maybe surprise mm -hmm. but you know the way of of magical sacred objects magical objects is such as that when we become guardians or, or keepers of them it's often temporary and mm -hmm. a lot of it's contingent on the energy and the the attention that we give and the lessons that we need to learn perhaps or you know the initiations we experience 
and then they may leave us again. And in, in the case of, of Blue or Blue Ocean, this beautiful bowl, it was with me for what, a little over a year or something like that. I I can't remember exactly. I'm terrible with keeping TikTok time, but, and then it was time for it to come back to you, which is what happened. Um, so you that- know what I remember too, is you gave me a, you gave me a hint before we spoke about it, because I remember you put a comment into that broadcast and you said, I love that bull. And I think it loves me. And because I had had the information drop in about that, it was going to be moving on. I was like, Oh, <laughs> and, and I knew enough about you to know that I like you say we didn't know each other well but I knew enough about you to know that you were a resonant match for the bowl that's another piece about the bowls that's so amazing is the people they don't usually know or you you maybe do or I maybe do but lots of people don't know which is their bowl but they do at that soul and spirit level and the bowl knows who their person is and so there's this recognition that happens and so knowing the bull and what I knew of you, I was like, oh, well, that makes sense then that this is why the bull told me that. Yes. And then you were ready. I think you wanted to, you, you became complete with the bull. And I think it was about a year later and, and you made a, a request, which I actually don't ever grant, which was, Hey, can I trade this in towards some other bulls? <laughs> I don't even do that. And I was like, yes, because I was so excited for it to come back. Um, and I remember actually, Lupito, who's one of the owners of Crystal Tones, Paul and Lupito started the company. He he counseled me just randomly, I think it was early on. Um, never think of any of them as yours. It's very much like what you just said about magical objects. It's a it's it is totally a consciousness relationship. And and just like any relationship, it, it can shift on either side. And, and of course, when it shifts on one side, that means it's shifting on both. And so he and he said, if it's really meant to be with you, it'll come back to you. And then that was the amazing part was that it did twice, actually, because I it went on to a different keeper and then came back to me again, <laughs> which has been the most, yeah, just delightful, magical um, ex- experience. Mm-hmm. Well, and and I, I'm thinking of the, the term is coming, the, the fabulous sisterhood of the traveling bowl, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, this bowl has downloaded from you know many sacred s- spots that you've traveled with it and with me as well mm-hmm. so there's a, a lemurian portal and a very sacred place in the pacific northwest that it was taken to to mount shasta it went to with me um i'm trying to think where else i uh, it was part of so there's a, a ritual that i have had for many decades now uh for new year's and information that comes through from the cosmos and from from the galactic federation and and these other beings of light that are supporting the human experience and you know to expand and and become more prosperous and joyous also are join with me on new year's every year and so i got to be with blue during one of those new year's ceremonies i think you have the pictures from that um outside in the woods in a really sacred space beautiful beautiful light so much so that in fact it would be wonderful if you could share or post that picture for people mm-hmm. when i was playing the bowl during the ceremony it literally lit up and the so for me because i'm a seer i see not only our physical reality like you know this kind of thing but i see energy vibration and frequencies all and how they interact so and how they weave into consciousness and into the to matter so into our worlds and so i was seeing frequencies and light and the energy that was coming in through the bowl that the bowl was was joining with me on this this level and there are these beautiful you can see the light in the bowl swirling down because i literally and it's just a cell phone there's nothing fancy because i don't have any of those capabilities like Christine's an amazing photographer. I <laughs> I take pictures of myself and it's like, oh, I hope this turns out. So um <laughs> yeah, but but every once in a while spirit lets me capture the things I'm seeing on the inner with my camera phone and and it's magic. So I I sent you because they were older the uh, from my cell phone the memory. Yeah, I'm not able to share them right here in the video, but I might be able to put it with somehow yeah. Neat. yeah but it was it was really beautiful because it, it was natural light there was nothing going on but i the, the energies the frequencies that were swirling into view were showing up in the picture in the bowl so it was blue as a really special special sacred being as they all are 
but it's really fun to start at the beginning and 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 you know reflect yeah. on that and how much that's grown in my own life and experience along the way so thank yeah, you blue has also been to tonga um to sit on the shore of this tiny little island in the middle of the ocean um with the whales near nearby and so got to go be physically near some of its people that way even though it travels on the inner you know what i love about what you're sharing is it's really special when when what is essentially invisible for most of the world or most of the time shows up visually or physically somehow just to be seen and there it is no matter what your own capacities are as a Claire, you know, you're talking about being a seer and, and some people actually just are Claire cognizant and they're, they just know stuff, but they don't ever get to see it or they don't get to necessarily hear it, but they have that open channel, but how fun for one of the sensory things to come through and go like, and here, I'm just going to show this for everybody. <laughs> yeah. So that's really, that's really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. The bowls are, are really amazing for that. Um, mm -hmm. as, as teachers, initiators, healers, I mean, there's so many, many attributes available through becoming a keeper and, and working with the bowls. It really just is contingent on how much you want to explore the depth of that experience. It, it could be, you know, through musicianship, of course, and the higher levels of, of frequency and Hertz that are available, you know, and the, the, um, for me, be, again, being a seer, and when I say seer, I don't just mean visual. For me, I, I it's really a, a synesthetic type of experience because I feel, taste, smell, vibrate. Uh, I see larger patterns of things. Um, so I guess you could say, it, but it's holographic. It's not just visceral. So mm -hmm. with the bowls, I see these beautiful uh, waves and sometimes weavings not only am I hearing things and feeling it that way, which I find quite beautiful and profound, but I, I'm seeing them as well. And I'm seeing these, these oscillations and waves and the way that they weave together. And it's just, it's magical. That's why we, you know, you and I call it bowl magic a lot because it, it really is creating something, something new and an extra, extraordinary in, for ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, one of the bowls that I have in this set with blue, and this is a, this is a home set. So none of nothing that I have on the table here is for sale, though, of course, everything else is, but it was a, it was similar, like to the way that, you know, you're talking about, they start talking. And this one is, I just love, I love oh. that. <laughs> I know, oh. right? I feel it. Oh. It has that beautiful violet or a gold. Yes. A Lemurian with platinum. And we, we always love the Lemurian bowls. And I was in the middle of a buy and I was doing it remotely. So they send me videos and I say yes or no or whatever. And, and I That's had it, oh, and it's a morph. It has this, you can see right there is where it had a little, it had a thing and they, it got to be uh, re regenerated there. And, and I had a dream. I was, I knew that I was going to sleep on it up for my choices for the order. And I have this dream and in the dream, this bowl shows itself to me very, very clearly. And so I write the, I write the gal and I say, Hey, so I had a dream and I see something that looks like this. Do you have anything like that? And she just plops it right in, you know, sends me a picture. I said, that's it. So just put it in the order, you know, and it goes so beautifully with blue. Every bowl, really, in this set that I have is just magically planted itself to come with its friends. <laughs> and this was, that was how this one got to be with its friends. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Hmm. yeah what did you see it, with that Lemurian? That'd be fun to share. Hmm. Well, the, fir the first thing that happened was just a deep-seated connection to the planet um, that was friendly and nurturing and nourishing mm -hmm. so uh, um so rooted rooted in light and i was seeing from the the violet uh, and of course violet as a a frequency can connect us it, it can transform but it can also connect us to that uh upper level spectrum of light that's not necessarily visible so it's a transformer that can connect heaven and earth is what I was seeing that Lemurian energy, that frequency with the violet. And I was seeing these filaments of gold going down into mm -hmm. through my feet and into the earth. And I just got this 
just pleasure pleasurable feeling in my body that was really nourishing and I went ooh <laughs> ooh very nice <laughs> they're all they're all wonderful also in this set just to just because it's, a, it's such a fun story is a bowl that actually you bought and it was on its way to you yes and the box it, it got wet and completely damaged and was smashed in and all the peanuts, the little extra packing peanuts were just like hard as rocks. They were in there like little pebbles. And you were advised by this postal service to just send it back, you know, da return damaged. And honestly, when it got and they sort of taped it up and sent it back. And when it got back to me, I was just bracing myself because each of these each of these beings, you know, they're they're conscious beings, their consciousness and just like us when our time is complete and we move out of the body well they do too when they break and I, but i was you know it's a thing when that happens and so oh, i know i was very upset and i i, I was really torn between <laughs> sending it back and opening it at the time and looking at that crushed box and i remember sending you the pictures of being like <gasps> oh i know so you Did sent it back and and it came and i was so I'm, I'm like ready and i have the camera ready because i'm going to file the insurance claim and the whole thing and i open it up and sure enough there's there's almost no peanuts left there. Like I said, they're just these tiny little hard <laughs> pebbles. And But of course it's in a case. I had shipped it in a case and I open it up and the bowl's in perfect condition. I was just, <gasps> you know, and it just it came <laughs> home. And then I realized it went with this set. And shortly after it got back, I shared a story about the miracle bowl that made it, you know, through this saga. Oh, remember, do you remember that they lost it too? When I, oh when yeah, they, it took forever. Was they lost it like I, I want to say if I remember like three different times and it yeah. they, and then you'd get an update and it'd be in some weird place like it's in Kansas now and you'd be like oh is it is it, it went totally circuitous it took like over a month to get here I mean yeah, I Hawaii really but normally things don't I mean they don't put them on boats anyway and it well they they can but that wasn't what was happening it just went all around and then I, sh I share about it and this woman who's this beautiful like she's a beautiful crystalline consciousness keeper of bowls and she's in France and she goes oh Christine that bowl I think I think I'm you know would love to buy that bowl and it feels it and I just went I can't let her go <laughs> she just has to stay <laughs> so they move they 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 do their thing yeah 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 That's she would she would have been perfect here with with the bowl beings that I have but obviously it was not meant to be and we you know we, we grew through that whole experience but I just remember every time I would hear and you go yeah I just got a thing it's in Chicago now and we'd be like what you're in Hawaii how did it get to Chicago and I think it was some other weird place like Kansas or something that it, first it was completely lost and they had to figure out and then it was some other weird and then, so I mean now that I know that it's back with ocean and and completed a set it makes perfect sense to me I go okay right. so ah exactly yeah you no know, and the bigger picture and the bigger lessons that sometimes come through our experience have nothing to do with making sense intellectually Absolutely. and it, it, it's a perfect illustration of that through what happened with the bowls neither of us was was planning for those experiences for, you know, I thought I was buying a new bowl. It was coming to work with me yeah. and it, you know, it wanted to be part of something bigger that neither of us appreciated at the time we had to go through that experience. It was, it was perfect. And, and, um, that's yeah. cool. and that, that feels like that could be another, another bowl magic conversation, um, that those teachings that they, that they bring us that are so far beyond our mind. Yeah. There's a lot, been a lot of really good ones of those too. Whew. Yeah. Well, and I remember being, there was a part of me through that and it, emotional, we, definitely we should talk about that because it made me think of Bodhi. So, and for those of you who don't know who Bodhi is, Bodhi is a very special bowl and we'll definitely do an episode devoted to Bodhi. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Any, but when I, yeah, the, I, feel a part it's because I'm multidimensional and I can bilocate and move into different fields I felt myself miss part of me was missing with that bowl as that bowl was missing and I it wasn't until it arrived and and you you know and I remember you laughing and going I can't believe this bowl is whole with the way the package looked and the, the experience that it had and laughing and then it in the laughter it released me to relax and I was like okay everything's okay and I was back in my body instead of journeying energetically with the bowl like trying to keep it safe like a mother looking for a child you know <laughs> that's, oh that's great that's yeah so great. yeah well this has been very fun 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 to uh, have a first crystalline conversation with more to come and 
Um, I'll plop, you can find down here underneath the video, um, Lana's contact information if you're interested in getting together with her. Uh, she does session work, as do I. Being We're each keepers of the bowls and we do many other things. So, um, and of course I sell them and then use all of this, well, I would say partner with all of this amazing sound and all the other work that I do. So you can find that there and uh, yeah, to be continued. Yes, thank you so much. I had a this was really fun and I'll look forward to connecting again. Likewise. All right. <laughs> Aloha, <Next> everybody. <laughs>